Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And yesterday, Apple released iOS 15 Developer Beta 2 for registered developers. No public beta as of right now. Public beta testers. This should be coming out in the next couple of weeks for you guys. Uh, but I'll keep you guys posted. But Apple yesterday released iOS 15 Developer Beta 2, as I mentioned, on a weird schedule on a Thursday, which typically doesn't happen. But here it is. Uh, there's some new features. There's also some features that have been enabled, which we'll talk about this beta coming in. At approximately one and a half gigs. So there's a lot happening here, and I'm sure that with you guys. But aside from iOS 15 developer beta one, Apple also announced everything else as usual. iPad OS 15 beta two is here. Watch OS 8 beta two is here, and TV OS 15 developer beta two is now available. Now I have this iPhone here on the right, which has beta one, and this one here on the left has beta two. Now the first thing I want to talk about is Control Center because within Control Center, the platter for focus has been refined, if you will. So here is the focus platter in beta one. Here it is in beta two. Everything has been compact. It's a lot nicer, in my opinion, on the second beta. So Apple has refined those settings there. Now there's also some changes to the weather application, or actually a splash screen for the weather app. So when you first launch it in beta two, you'll get this splash screen here, which explains everything that's new within the new weather's application in iOS. 15. Now there's also some changes to the maps icon. So take a look at the maps icon in beta one, right there it is, the Apple maps. And here it is in beta two. So slight changes there for the icon for the maps application as well. So that's also welcome and nice to see. Now there's also some Memoji options, new Memoji stickers available. So when you head on over to the Memojis right here in the Messages application. You see that you have a few new ones available right here. Apple just continues to add. And there's new Memoji options. So if you want to edit your Memoji, you can now have some clothing on your Memoji and change the color of the clothing. And you have different styles to choose from, different colors, obviously. You have different shades of colors as well that you can choose from right here. And you can see right here the avatar also has some new options to choose from. There it is. And it's nice. I think Apple should definitely have a standalone Memoji application for the iPhone. I'm not sure why that hasn't happened yet, uh, but it should be something that could be coming and should be coming soon. As I mentioned, you can now uh, put some clothing on your Memoji and customize it even further with the latest beta. And all the new stickers are now available as well, as I mentioned. But one of the biggest features with beta 2 is SharePlay for FaceTime and screen sharing. So if I go to uh, share play here or screen share, let me go ahead and call this iPad here. Let me go ahead and mute the microphone and I answer the call here. Let's go ahead and answer the call. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. So, okay, we're in. So if I wanna screen share, all I have to do is tap on the top right corner and there it is, screen share becomes available. And all I have to do is click on screen share and this will share the screen of the iPhone over onto the iPad. Now it isn't perfect. Once you click open, I can view it right here. It is a bit of a lag depending on your network connection. And of course this is beta, but as you can see right there, everything that I do on the iPhone, the person on the other end on the iPad can actually see what I'm doing, which is pretty cool. Now we can also do the share play, which allows you to watch videos, listen to music with someone on FaceTime. A compatible application is required. I know you're probably asking yourself, is YouTube compatible? Not yet, but let's go to the Apple TV application here. Let's say I want to watch this TV show right here. Now, when I go to the menu, it will actually give me the option to share play. Right there it is. So now I can actually share play this to the iPad and you can see right there in real time is happening. So there it is on the iPad. I can make it larger and we can both watch this at the same time. So that's pretty cool as well. And I think you guys are gonna like that option a lot, but that's what's new in FaceTime. or not new, something that was already announced, but it's been enabled in beta two, it's pretty awesome. You can also do it with music and other things like that. There's been refinements within the software, obviously. I'm gonna keep continue digging around the software to share with you guys what's new. But as of right now, share play is one of the biggest features that's been enabled and you can turn that on or off directly within the FaceTime settings. There's also new Memoji and Memoji characters and stickers and options to customize, as I mentioned. Minor refinements through the UI, but I'll continue digging. Just keep in mind that the software has a lot of little things that are new, I'm still digging around on the software and learning new things as I use it day in and day out. But this was a quick overall, quick first view at beta two on iOS 15. Of course, public beta testers, stay tuned. Make sure you follow me on Twitter because I'll let you guys know as soon as it becomes available for you. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Stay tuned for my follow-up and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.